because the Elijah message brings unification in the family. It turns the family together. You've got crooked families, you've got crooked society. So therefore, the first aspect of the Elijah, listen, the Elijah message is being, it means going back to basics. If your home is not right, you shouldn't be going out there talking about the love of Christ and what Christ has done for you. Go and sort yourself out before you actually say, oh, I'm going to go out there and minister. Some families don't even have an altar in their family. What does that mean? They don't even have family worship. So how could you be saying now, I'm going to go out there in the spirit and power of Elijah when you've got a broken home? So listen, before God takes us to the big things, he deals with the basic issues of life. And that's what the purpose and the principle is of the Elijah message. Do you sit your children down and open the scriptures to them? Do you visit your old age pensioner, grandparents or whatever and open the scripture to them? When's the last time you've seen your mother When's the last time you seen your father? When's the last time you called your son on the telephone or your daughter? Because you cannot be going out there saying I'm going to do a great work when the home base ain't right. That's what the principle of the Elijah message is because then when these things are dealt with, God takes us on to bigger things, amen? And that's what God done with Elijah.